Hi Virgo, this is your general tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Ascendant, a rising sign for the month of October. Virgo, let's do as we always do, we'll shuffle the cards and wait on all the right ones to come out for you, my love. And in the meantime, let's talk about the energies that you may feel throughout the month. So, we begin under the big influence of the Aries full moon that happened for you in your 8th house at the end of September. And you'll still feel the effects of it a little bit into October. And the eighth house is where other people's resources are brought into question. For those of you in a relationship, perhaps you might have seen your partner struggle a little bit financially or get very upset or worried about how to bring the money in. Maybe they went through a little bit of a crisis, Virgo, and you were there to help them, to help them out and to try to put things back into perspective a little bit for them. Uh, for you also, the eighth house deals with births, deaths, taxes, long-range finances, investments. So all of these subjects could have been brought to mind as we leave September. Very deep subjects, particularly surrounding money, that there may have been a moment where you really felt that you didn't really have a great long-range plan for your money. It could have meant that a supply of money stopped or a supply of income in some way, maybe through a side business or something, wasn't flowing as freely as you'd like it to flow. And there was a bit of a panic and a bit of crisis about that. But you'll deal with this and we'll talk about that in a moment, Virgo. Also, eighth house is to do with power, power games, power struggles. Somebody demanding, demanding, demanding a lot from you. Now this could be a family member, a partner or somebody in work where they were kind of lording it over you a little bit, demanding way too much, dominating you in some way, trying to be the boss over you. And what happened for you, Virgo, is that you finally, I'm happy to say, you finally got the power and energy and drive to stand up for yourself, to see that some people are just energy drainers, some people are just manipulators, some people are just users. They do exist, Virgo. And this could have come as a bit of a crisis moment for you because there could have been an instance where somebody had tried at some point to point out to you where you were losing your energy, where you were, you, you were losing power, maybe because of friends, family or something that they were draining the life out of you, demanding too much from you. And when people pointed this out to you, you were saying, not listening, it's not true, it's not true, I do what I want to do, uh, I make the decision, they don't have the power over me. But yet it turns out that those people who pointed these things out to you may in fact have been right. Maybe they were friends, as I said, somebody maybe having a hold over you a little bit, maybe you felt indebted to them. And as painful as it is to admit it, maybe this other person who pointed it out to you was right. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass situation, but it's something you will benefit from because now you see things clearly. Also, the same situation in terms of your finances. It could have been a weird moment, Virgo, where you felt when you were down, <clears throat> sorry, when you were down, somebody came in and kicked you while you were down. Maybe when you did see some supply of money or supply of care, supply of love, a supply of support, leaving your life in some way, somebody came in and said, well, it's your own fault for allowing that to happen. You should have been standing on your own two feet. Or you, you, you shouldn't think like that. Just get up again, stand up on your own two feet and stop crying about the past. And you're like, really? Really? You chose to do this now? Now was the right time? Kick a dog while he's down? Really? And it will annoy you. It will infuriate you to hear that. But yet at the same time, as the month goes on, there'll be that awful realization that maybe they were right. Maybe you did overly depend on a way of thinking about money or you did overly depend on a supply of something that maybe you had no real control over and maybe you were giving all your energy to a drainer, an energy vampire. And now it's time to reevaluate all of that, Virgo. Why? Because it's time and you deserve better. That's why. You deserve to be able to stand on your own two feet and not feel 
always indebted to some, something or always waiting for luck to turn, always waiting on some external thing to bring you good fortune or bring you the life that you need. It's, it's what you deserve now. What you deserve is the sun going into the second house, which is you building up your own self-esteem, self-worth and confidence to get rid of all the situations that drain you, all the people that drain you, all the people that boss you, and to reassert yourself in a very positive way where your energy is not lost, and particularly financially, where your energy is not lost to always depending on your ship to come in from somewhere else. This is the time now to be proactive, to really assert yourself to be productive, to, be in, to have initiative, to make your own financial situation better, to make your own self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence more solid. So it's a wonderful journey you're on this month, Virgo. It's a real turnaround point for you. And it's going to be deep. And you'll also find yourself going deep on a lot of situations going deeper in yourself, asking yourself much bigger questions than you've dared to ask yourself before, going into how you tick psychologically, going into the meaning of money, the meaning of how you approach your life in general, the meaning of how much you depend on other people. Why do I do it? Where does this stem from? How did all of this begin? Did it begin in my childhood? Did it begin from a past life? It's digging, digging, digging. You've big questions and now you want big answers. A lot of you could turn to things like tarot, runes, divination, crystals. Something that allows your mind in some way, maybe just an in-depth, really going deep into psychology, to try to find those big answers because that's where your mind is at this month, Virgo. Now, Venus is retrograding this month on the 6th of October in Scorpio in the third house. So again, the mind is going deeper, everything we just said. And some of you, you might be looking back on old loves to see how they have influenced your current life. Maybe there's a relationship that you haven't quite healed over. Maybe there's a relationship from the past that you're still a little bit stuck on. And maybe that needs to be healed. Maybe you need to roll up your sleeves, dig that up, pull it up at the root, and really see why that might have such a powerful effect on you today. Now also this could mean that for some of you, an old love who may have been perhaps a little bit toxic might return. And the, the, you'll be very tempted to reconnect with them because even though you remember they were a little bit toxic, but they were also fabulous at transforming you. They went in, they did mess you up a little bit, but yet, in a weird way, they also turned you around. So I don't really want you to fall into the trap of maybe opening that relationship up again because I think it could have been a little bit toxic and even though during this period you might look back and say that person they really knew me they really understood me sure it was all a bit messed up sure it was all a bit passionate and wild and but they did get me they did know me Virgo don't fall for that because remember they're an ex for a reason. And maybe their influence over you wasn't so great. Okay, so don't be tempted by that. Um, new moon on October the 9th in Libra, the second house. There's a great sense of balance coming in for you about your finances. Whatever has happened for you recently, Virgo, you're saying, no, I am going to get a greater sense of balance in my money. And the other thing that's happening too, the, the thing we spoke about, about not depending so heavily on something to turn for you or some person to help you out financially or something that's out of your control to turn good for you. Now you're getting more in control. And particularly around the new moon, 9th of October, 
you, you're finding a better balance, particularly in how you approach the whole situation of money. Yeah. The, the penny is dropping. Something is happening. There's a light bulb moment for you where you get to understand that you've allowed, you, you've allowed yourself not have a great level of control over your finances. So the good news, as I said, Virgo, is that that turns, that turns around for you. It will be a little bit painful for that, for that wheel to turn, but you get it because your mind is really focused on this this month. And the big answer, the big questions, should I say, we'll find those big answers, Virgo. Um, so there is a lot of activity, again, Scorpio, third house, Mercury, Sun, uh, going in there 10th and 23rd of October. So the mind is on, as I said, deep issues, taboo issues, um, and how to change, radically change your approach to finances and radically change your approach to feeling that you've no control over money. So, so that's the big thing, because by the end of it, you will understand the situation. As shitty as it might feel as you're going through it, the reward at the end, Virgo, is that you get it. And getting it is nearly all of the battle won, because once you get it, then you'll be able to implement these great ideas that you have in a more positive and optimistic way. You, you, it's like getting, I get it, I get it, I get it. Now I can play the game right. Now I can play the money game. And I can play to win. Because I have more control over it. Because I'm using my energy, my initiative, and not depending on something outside of me to bring in money. So that's, that's a huge enlightening moment for you, Virgo. Really. A um, few other things happening. It's all working towards October 31st. Mercury uh, is in Sagittarius in the fourth house, and then Venus in Libra. The full moon on the 24th. Okay, let's talk about that first. This could mark a time where your beliefs totally change, out with the old and in with the new. After everything that you're going to be experiencing that we spoke about here, Virgo, you're just, your whole mind is going to turn around. You're going to see things from a much bigger perspective. You're going to be able to look down a little bit on all things in your life and see it from, from high up so that you're able to move your little chess pieces in your life a little better. That it's, that it's, everything isn't so intense by the end of the month. Everything isn't so dramatic. Everything isn't so life or death situation. By the end of the month, the reward is to be able to sit back change how you see everything and move with power and move with a whole new approach. Some of you it could mark the end of a long period of studying something. Maybe you have been very passionately absorbed in studying one thing in particular, maybe a very deep subject, deep research, deep, deep, deep information. And maybe it's time now to release that and to change it up a little bit, because now that you've found big answers, you want your mind to be focused on other things, like money. <laughs> yeah, it's a time to take your life out of the, you know that moment where you think you're, where we all go through it, where you believe that your life is this great long journey, which it is, okay, okay. But the journey sometimes involves going back down and getting stuck in and being more proactive and less philosophical about how your life is moving. So that's another thing that will happen for you. Um, we're still waiting on a few cards here, Virgo. Uh, Mercury, uh, yes, yeah, a lot of stuff happening in the third house. It's all about challenging your ideas, challenging what you believe. Um, and really, the energy there is going to be, it's a, it'll be a bit of a struggle. But it's okay. It's like this great inner battle that you'll be going through to find the truth. What is the truth? What is the meaning? Why do I behave like this? Why do I always end up losing out when it comes to money? Why do I always end up losing out people? Why can I not find a relationship that really gets me and really supports me? So the big questions are happening. And this is where the radical shift is happening for you this month, my love. 
Um, 12th of October, Mercury is doing a nice thing there with Saturn. So again, there'll be a moment where your mind is taken out of very heavy things and brought back to reclaiming your power in something more pleasurable. I, I think certainly if you're doing something creative, Virgo, this is a great time for the ideas to really come for you, to get real, I get it moments where you can move far, forward powerfully with whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that allows you to shine. Because again, the whole e emphasis here has always been about, with Saturn and Pluto, encouraging you to shine, encouraging you to be a little less heavy about your life and to take it lighter. And so, yeah, you might see around the 12th of October, that moment where you kind of get it, where you're ready to step out and shine because your mind has given you so many solutions to a lot of the problems around these subjects that, are, that have been happening. Um, other things that are happening, uh, around the 19th, I would just say to you, if you're doing a course of exercise or starting something new in the gym or some new health thing, just take it easy. Take it easy, you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to do yourself some small damage, you know. So it might be a great idea, and it is a great idea for you to really focus now, maybe making money through something healthy. Maybe doing some form of fitness exercise or something that involves health, even mental health, psychological health, something within the health field, which I know you're very interested in in general, you could be trying to put a lot of time and energy into something, an idea surrounding the health industry. And around the 19th, you'll want to go full steam ahead, but it, you'll have to stop and rethink a few things there, okay? Uh, otherwise, you'll be forcing something that's not ready to come out yet. Mm -hmm. But by the end of the month, it is all systems go. It's... It's all good. You get to see, it seems that whatever the idea you have, these great ideas that you have, to do something that brings you a great sense of pleasure, perhaps something involving your health, or something very involved in the health industry, that by the end of the month, particularly around the 28th, the sun is shining on these great new ideas that are coming to you to have more fun, to have more pleasure, and to really express yourself in whatever it is that you want to do now that brings you joy, that brings you some happiness, Virgo. So you see, by the end of the month, your mind is focused on this deep transformation, getting back in money. Maybe around the 31st of October, focusing very much on tidying up some issues around your family situation that need to be spoken about, need to be dealt with once and for all. And then reclaiming a new way to see your world, a new way to see your finances, so that your ideas by the end of the month can really take off and you'll be able to shine doing something creative. You'll be able to shine and stand out and feel like you're winning by the end of the month. So it's all worth it, Virgo. Now, finally, let's do this. Let's go. Ta-da! And look at the cards. So, look at these beautiful cards that we open up. The world. This, this represents going through something big and coming out the other side. The world says that you, you get to see the world in a whole different way this month. Your world has changed. For some of you, things have changed in your life as we even begin the month. They've changed in a way that things may never be the same again, and you recognize that. So it's quite life-changing things that could be happening for a lot of you. But you're walking through it. You're getting through it. And in taking the first brave steps, one small step for Virgo, one giant leap, it is like that. You're taking one small step, which is actually a giant leap for you into the next part of your world. You're breaking a lot of psychological 
patterns that have held you back. And as I said, whoever it was that seemed to have pointed this out to you and you were angry with them perhaps, you recognised that in some way they were right and in some way, in a very crap way, maybe they were trying to push you and propel you into changing uh, some pattern that you were locked in, stuck in patterns of belief about your finances, about how you can stand up and not be bullied by other people, how you can take absolute control of the great ideas that are coming into you to make more money. Because you will. If you run with this and go with this, you will. If you ignore it and just continue and turn back around and go back and do the same old, same old, and just sit and be all angry about how people are pointing things out to you and it's none of their business, then you stay stuck. Then the opportunities to use these great ideas to make money don't happen. So it's to your advantage, Virgo, to really run with this, to really put fire, energy, and passion in this. And I think you will. I think you will. I mean, even though you're an earth sign, Virgo, the energy I've picked up for you last month and this month again is quite fiery, it's quite sensual, it's quite passionate. It's about re-engaging with your needs, with what do I want now? And how can I assert myself? If anybody is going to assert themselves, it's going to be the Knight of Wands. He's desperate now to move forward with his new life once he breaks through and comes back from a hellish point because that's where Inanna, the goddess Inanna, this is she here, she is coming back from the underworld and stepping through, having learned some very hard lessons, having to strip herself bare and to have been humiliated in some way. But yet she went through that process to come out free Sometimes this month you might feel that bit of feeling humiliated, feeling a bit misunderstood, feeling that nobody gets you, feeling that you're doing this alone, baby, because nobody's got your back. But the point is that when you go through that dark journey, you come out and you don't need any of them. Now it's you will invite people in if they're nice people, if they're helpful, if they can encourage you, if they can bring you up, elevate you, give you positive energy, positive feedback. Otherwise, you don't need them. So it's a great liberation that you're running, running, running with. And here is quite a Virgo card, quite a Virgo card, the card of discernment, the card of being able to really step back and hold a, a good perspective where there's a sense of balance, where you're saying, do I give my energy to this person or not? Do I give my energy to this situation or not? I'm weighing this up. I, I'm not going to feel indebted to somebody anymore. I'm not going to let them have all the power over me. I'm going to be, particularly around the end of the month, seeing things in a bigger way to be able to look down upon the situations in my life and make a judgment upon what gets my energy now and what doesn't. So, it's, so it is a real moment for you this month, Virgo, where you're using your very discerning eye to decide who gets the best of you and who doesn't deserve it anymore. Now, I'm using the word deserve here because I want to go, I just, I want to go with this because I've heard it. I want you to also examine in yourself where you might feel that you deserve things that you may not actually deserve. Now this might be, I might be one of those people now saying, what well, you know, <laughs> challenging you. But the word deserve comes up because there could, one of the things that somebody could be challenging, challenging you about is, they're saying, why do you feel that you deserve something to go right in your life if you're not actively standing up for yourself? Why do you deserve some money if you're not the one that's actively going out and getting it. So the word deserve is a quite tricky word for you this month and this is something that you'll have to really analyze yourself. But I tell you what you do deserve, going back to the original thing, you deserve to have this great 
break through. You deserve to be able to see things from a whole new perspective. You deserve to be able to have control in your life again, where you did not necessarily have control, particularly in your finances. You deserve that. Now, here's the card of things coming up from the shadows, things coming up from the deep, everything we're speaking about. Things will be coming up for you this month, Virgo, which challenge again, particularly your finances. Maybe some situations, real physical situations, that you have to throw money out. Maybe you have a little money set aside for a rainy day and suddenly you find you need a new phone or you need a new laptop or you need a new something or your car breaks down. Third house, modes of transport, cars, bicycles, vehicles. You're dishing out money and you're, you're saying, my God, where, where I'm, I see my bank account starting to dwindle. I need to really step back here and see if I can get a bigger control over this situation because things are cropping up, unexpected things are cropping up and I, I really need to be more prepared for these things, okay? Un un unexpected emotions to unexpected feelings might be cropping up, surrounding all the things we spoke about, surrounding money, your power, um, and also this feeling of feeling that you don't deserve something in your life and then maybe on the flip side feeling that I deserve better and not actually putting the effort in to make that happen. So it's a tricky one, Virgo, but I'm giving you the heads up because these are the things that will be coming up for you. Now when it comes to Venus retrograde, which is very powerful this month, there could be, as I said, that old lover, somebody coming up from the deep psychological darkness, cropping up and raising its head again, either in real life or just their name is brought to mind over and over again and the effect that they've had over you. And this is a real time for you to balance that out once and for all. Fix it, see the truth of the situation, the effect it had over you, and then let it die because you will take your energy out of it and it will no longer be a subtle drain on you subtle drains of energy they're disappearing this month be it people be it situations maybe even deaths and maybe certainly attitudes and what look this is you okay you've gone through the mill a little bit this month with all the mind stuff that's being brought to mind but this card represents you being finally over the worst of it. You've finally broken the back of some situation. It's like you had to go there. You had to dig deep. You had to face the demon. You had to ask the big questions. You had to face the, the things that you didn't want to face. And once you do, you're over it. It's finished. The pain goes. The deep hurt goes. It's said, it's open, it's been communicated, it's been brought up, you've slayed the dragon and it's over. And in turn then, look at you standing out, proud, feeling free, feeling independent, feeling that you've conquered something very potent and powerful in yourself. This card sometimes is to do with your soul purpose. So something very deep and psychological, a trauma maybe from the past, gets aired finally once and for all, Virgo. The anger is allowed to come out. The pain is allowed to come out. The confusion is allowed to come out and be put on the table. And the old psychological habits, the old way of thinking is allowed to be put out there to be challenged and ultimately to be fixed so that you're liberated, you're free, and your soul can move on to its next part of the journey. Also in terms of money, did we get this also last month, Virgo? Now that the sun is in Libra at the start of the month uh, and then moves into Scorpio, there is this great transformation where you do feel finally at the end of the month that you're free to stand up on your own two feet financially. If there is, as I said, a project that you're doing, something that can bring in an extra bit of cash, the ideas that just come to you this month, 
can make that happen, can make it happen, if you run with it. Now, judgment, it came out like that. Here we see, I understand this, Virgo, all the heavy stuff that's going to come up for you this month, the stuff that is painful. There's a reluctance for you to allow it pop up. You're reluctant because you know it's going to be hurtful, you know it's going to be painful. But don't fear it. Don't fear it. Yes, yes, it will hurt. Yes, it's, it's almost like, I don't want to go there. This is too much. This is too much. I really don't want to face these deep things because they leave me feeling overwhelmed with sadness. But go there, Virgo. And it could be a great time for you, really, if there's a family member or somebody that you really trust, a therapist or a counsellor, to consider this part of your health. Mars is in Aquarius doing radical things with your health in your sixth house. So maybe one of the most radical things you can do and put your energy into health-wise is to rechange your focus and allow... With, Aquarius is very objective. It, it puts things out and in, in a cold, cool manner, watches the things in their life and doesn't get overwhelmed emotionally by them. And maybe that's the energy that's needed here for you. To, to use that Mars energy now, not to be so overwhelmed once you dig in to the more serious things. But certainly an Aquarius could help you or somebody who is very objective, somebody that you trust, somebody that is not very involved in your life, somebody who can remove themselves a little bit and give you proper counsel and proper advice. That's why I'm saying a therapist or a counsellor could really help you with this situation. Could also be a family member, but certainly somebody who is prepared to give you the space to change things up because once you do this Virgo, once you go through all of this digging up, you end up the hanged man, an expansion of wisdom, an expansion of knowledge. Very much 24th of October, very much so around that time with the full moon in Taurus in the ninth house. The things that you deeply believe in, the things that you spiritually almost align yourself with, they're all changing and they're changing for the better. Virgo, if I didn't know any better, I could say that some of you could even have a great epiphany this month. Some of you could really have a great, intense moment in the soul, whatever that may mean for you, maybe through meditation or through something that you do you could have a really, really powerful psychic moment that ultimately ignites a whole new way of approaching your life and a whole new way which ultimately brings you the four, you know, four corners in your life, feeling secure again, feeling that you're able to run now with passion, with your ideas, with everything in your life, with relationships. This card is a great big declaration of love, a great big moment where you say, I have seen my life now, I have seen the truth, I see things from a totally other perspective and because of that, I am more happy. And, I, and there's this great, yes, I get it, I get it moment. So you feel enthusiastic, invigorated, more passion, coming back to the things that you now are planning for your future. It's a great month now where you are finding strength to use the ideas that you get this month and set them in motion so that you can see them flourish in no time, in no time. Now we have these two cards together. There, there could be some of you celebrating something at the end of the month, a party, maybe a wedding, a commitment ceremony or something like that where love is celebrated. For the eighth house it could be a celebration of a, where a child is brought into the world. Let's not forget eighth house is both birth and death. So for some of you there could be a great celebration of a life, a new life or maybe the celebration of a life that has passed. But either way it will be a very positive time where time is spent 
with people that you care about, celebrating. So that's a wonderful, wonderful energy. There is a triumph. You're working very much so towards something, Virgo, that will give you a sense of triumph by the end of the month, a sense of happiness where you will be raising a glass to something. Raising a glass to what? Raising a glass to love. You, towards the end of the month, for those of you who are not in a relationship, suddenly feel more impassioned and more ready to go out and find new love. The knight is setting out on his journey to find new love. So you, you are invigorated. You're invigorated and I feel that you're getting a lot of support by the end of the month by people who love you and care about you. When they see that you've done some radical change in, their, in your life, they celebrate it and, and it opens this great door of love where you're cheered and you're encouraged to move forward with your life in a very positive way. You're going out, you're looking for the more beautiful things in life now. You're looking for people to come into your life now who aren't draining, who aren't toxic. You want to feel the liberation of you choosing who comes into your life now. Only those who are able to drink from your cup of love and enjoy it and savour it and have pleasure with you. They're the only ones that are allowed in your life now, Virgo. So that's the energy. It's quite deep, Virgo, I know. But don't panic when you're going through this. Know that this is part of something very powerful for you. You're reclaiming power. You're, you're getting it together. And it might feel like you're being challenged an awful lot. And it might feel sometimes that your head is going to break. Something's going to snap. But the answer is it will. But when it breaks, it will reveal something far more potent and powerful for you so that you can get your energy moving in the right direction, Virgo. So it's worth it in the end. Really, really worth it. I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Uh, if this is the first time seeing my videos, then please do subscribe and come back next month. You can join me on... Um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, I'm now on Snapchat too, uh, or Twitter, and uh, join me there, and like I said, come back next month. And for those of you who celebrate Halloween, I want to wish you a very happy Halloween. For those of you who celebrate the Celtic Festival of Samhain, then Iha Hauna Honagrieve, I hope you have a wonderful Samhain Festival. And until next month, my gorgeous, I will leave you with a big kiss, and all my love. Bye, Virgo.